Today we're going to look at how we can speed up the ONN 4K streaming box, which is based on Google TV. So this guide kind of applies to people with Google TV as well, as well as Android TV. So not only does it apply to the ONN box, that's what I'm just demonstrating it on. It does apply to other sticks, boxes and TVs with Google and Android built in too. So as you can see, I mean, my ONN box is pretty quick anyway, you know, going through these, it's flicking through quite nicely. But I know some people do like to tweak things and get that little bit of extra speed out of it if they can. So we're going to show you how you can do that. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, I'm going to show you how you can speed up Google TV and Android TV. I'm doing this on my ONN 4K streaming box, but this could apply to any Google TV and possibly any Android TV too. So what we need to do is if we want to speed things up, go across to the settings cog and then go across to the second settings cog, just there, middle button. And then we want to go down to system. Once we're in system, go across and then down to about middle button. And then once we're in about, go down to Android TV OS build. With that highlighted, keep pressing this middle button on the remote control until you see you are now a developer. Once you see that back button on the remote control once and then go down and you should now see developer options somewhere down the bottom of the system list with it highlighted middle button. Keep going down and we're looking for the section that says drawing. There it is there. And we want to find these three options here, particularly animator duration scale. Now, that seems to have the biggest benefit. Now, if we change these from animation scale one times to animation off, straight away you can see the difference. There's no animation. If I just turn that back on, just to give you an example, there you go, it's back on. And as you can see, it takes a little while. So turn that off and there you go, you lose the animation. Now, it's also worth transition animation scale, turning that off too, and window animation animation scale, turn that off as well. So let's just go back to the main menu and let's have a look to see what it's done there. So straight away, let's just go down and let's just go across. There you go. As you can see, we're whizzing across there backwards and forwards. Let's go down. As you can see, a lot, lot quicker at going down and across. And if we go back up to for you there and they go going through the, the 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 tiles at the top there or the, uh, the the screens at the top, as you can see, they're flicking through really, really quick. And these as well, the popular movies, they go absolutely like lightning. We're going through them now. What if you want to put it back to what it was before? So let's just go back across to the settings cog just up there, go into cog there and then go down to system, middle button and go down to developer options, middle button, go down to the drawing section. As you can see, really quick to go down. There you go. Window animation scale. So let's set that back to one. Let's go down to transition animation, motion scale, set that to one and animator duration scale. Let's set that to one, two. So now if we go back, it, by the way, if you want to turn developer options back off, if you don't want people fiddling with developer options, then you can go into that option there, enable developer options, and that gets rid of developer options so people can't fiddle. You can go back and turn it back on in the same way shown at the start of this video. But as you can see now, when I'm going through some of these bits, let's just you can see it's a lot, lot slower. Well, not a lot, lot slower, but it is slower. If I go through movies and popular movies there, there you go. It still runs at a fair speed, to be quite honest with you, but it is slower. So there you go. That guide showed you how you can speed up your Google TV, Android TV or ONN 
4K Google TV box. I hope this guide helped and if it did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you want to have a look through my Amazon store, then have a look in the description down below. We've got a link to it down there, along with links to VPNs, Fire Sticks, Fire TV Cubes and Fire Stick accessories. Donating, buying or subscribing really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money.